Hello and good morning and Happy New Year. My name is Mark Janesk, Senior Application Engineer with Silo Design Solutions. And in this video, I'm going to revisit the creation of a surface from a point cloud that was created from an LAS file to recap using point cloud classifications. Point cloud classification is a part of the standardized LAS file format that includes the attribute that classifies a point as belonging to a certain group like ground, power pole, building, man-made object, etc. When you convert an LAS file to Autodesk Recap, it retains any of these classifications and it can be used in Civil 3D using a few certain steps. Now I've shown a way to do this in the past, converting the Recap point cloud into a uh, DEM file using point cloud classifications, but I found an easier way and I thought I'd share it with you. So in this drawing, I have a Recap uh, point cloud uh, scan that was created from a laser scan using LAS point cloud classification. And you can see as I select the point cloud, um, I will go ahead and change the scan colors to classification where you can actually see the different classifications of point cloud. The brown color as opposed to the gold and green, the ground, brown is the ground elevation. And that's what I want to create my surface from. Now, Civil 3D does not recognize point cloud classification it's in using the create surface from point cloud command. However, I'm going to show you using a map 3D command how we can force this issue to, to happen. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my map workspace. Uh, I could either change from Civil 3D to the planning and analysis workspace uh, by using my workspace pull down. Another way is just to type in map w space in the command line and turning that on that will bring up the map task pane where i can add my point cloud to the autodesk map task pane display manager i'm going to come here into the display manager section of the task pane right click choose data and then add point cloud data from drawing object with my point cloud selected in the dialog box i'm going to say ok and it's going to add my point cloud to the display manager. Now, once in the display manager, I can right click on that, come down and say filter point cloud. Another dialog box will come up that says filter by, and I could choose different filter uh, categories here. I'm going to choose classification, and I'm going to check number two, which is the standard LAS standard classification for ground points. I'm going to say apply filter. And now you can see the display of the point cloud has changed where only that ground point classification is shown. I'll then go ahead and create a surface from this by selecting my point cloud again now in the drawing canvas, choosing the create surface from point cloud command in the contextual ribbon and following the wizard prompts normally. I'm going to leave the surface name alone just for the sake of this demonstration. I'll go next. In the following, I'm going to go ahead and decimate my point cloud for brevity. I'll choose uh, one meter and I'll say next. And just to show what's going to happen, where I'd normally use either planar or the preferred creaking interpolation to filter out non ground points, because my ground points are already filtered using the map task pane, I'm just going to choose no filter and then run create surface. Again, I'll get my standard dialog box stating that the cloud is processing in the background and I'll let it run. This shouldn't take too long. You can see my point cloud is finished. I will select the surface that was created. First I'll deselect the point cloud. I'll select the surface and I'll choose the object viewer. I'll now rotate the object in the object viewer and you will see that yes the non-ground points were filtered out in my surface very easily. Now again, this method only works if the point cloud was classified with ground points as an LAS file when importing. And that takes care of that. So this is the new updated method for creating a surface from a point cloud in Civil 3D by using the ground classification uh, point cloud attribute. Uh, if you'd like further information, feel free to email us at cadtechnical 
at SeilerInst.com. Please follow our blog at www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog for more information, tools, tips, and tricks, and news about Autodesk and other products. We hope that you found this enjoyable and useful. Thank you, and have a great day.